Well, Katie is joining me once again because next week we are kicking off the Olympics in a big way. Katie is taking a big trip of her own before the games begin. So I hear you may need a little French for where you're headed. Oh yeah, definitely. Brittany, I am heading to Paris. Woo! Tennessee. Um, so, uh, they actually don't speak French oh. in uh, Paris, Tennessee, but they do have their very own Eiffel Tower. Um, and so we'll be, it's in West Tennessee. Uh, me and our videographer, David Rayborn, we will be heading out there next week. We're going to spend a few days out there Monday um, through Wednesday. We will be in Paris, and I'm going to be giving you all the things I've learned <laughs> about that town. And you know so much about Paris now. Yeah. I I, feel, <laughs> I wouldn't say that I'm an expert quite yet because, you know, I haven't been there in person, but they do have a lot of cool stuff. So the Eiffel Tower Park, it's mm -hmm. a scale replica of the Eiffel Tower. They've got a splash pad, Kentucky Lake, their own court square where all the shops and things are. But I am going to be live there every day. I'm going to sort of give you a window into Paris, Tennessee. And we just thought that this was a fun decision oh, because yeah. leading up to the Olympics, which start next Friday, I mean, how cool is it to be able to say, oh yeah, we're in Paris, Tennessee. So I'm excited to go because I've never been so. And you've been talking to some of the folks who live there. I imagine they're very excited about their little connection to the Olympics. They are very excited mm -hmm. about it. There's actually 15 different Paris uh, towns across the United States. So we have one here in Tennessee. And uh, while, you know, they have some of that French culture there. They we were talking about like, oh, what are some French foods or something that I might be able to find while I'm there? Or, you know, while I'm there, I'm definitely going to be bringing my pink beret of course. that we saw earlier at the French mm -hmm. lessons. So I'm sure that they're all leaning into it, especially with the Olympics being hosted there.